Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute, y'all, since I have gotten in front of the camera post-election stress. Am I right? Well, let me tell y'all, so much shit has happened within the Bravo world. I figured what better way to break it all down than just to do a Bravo Real Housewives news roundup. So we're gonna talk about all of the things that are happening in Real Housewives world because y'all, a lot has happened. We're not gonna waste any time. Let's just get into it. Let's start with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Erica Jane is divorcing Tom Girardi after 21 years of marriage. Y'all, I can't even believe it. I can believe it and I can't believe it all at the same time. So they've been together for 21 years. Um, in the paperwork, it cited irreconcilable differences. Um, and now she is trying to get spousal support from Tom and she's trying to have him pay for all of the attorney costs. Here's my thoughts about all of this. I mean, am I shocked? Yes and no. I mean, you could tell for at least the past couple seasons that those two just aren't clicking. They kind of each do their own thing. So now that they are currently filming, for the next season, Erica better step her pussy up. Like, this is her chance to not be boring because she's been very boring the past two seasons. I'll give her the past at least two seasons. She has been stale and boring. So I'm hoping this divorce kind of like shakes her back into reality because I mean, let's just be real, like without Tom, like what income other than being Erica Jane does she have like coming in? I'm just saying she's lived this like extravagant lifestyle and without him, what does she have? But also it kind of goes into like all of Tom's legal issues and money issues. Like I think it's a combination of all of the above. So Erica is divorcing Tom after 21 years of marriage. So hopefully we see a lot of this play out next season and it makes her just a little bit more exciting and open up a little bit more because she's gonna need that Bravo paycheck. Um, another thing coming out of Beverly Hills, Bravo announced and confirmed Crystal Kung Minkoff is going to be a full-time housewife next season. She is married to the director and producer of Disney's The Lion King. So it's like my two favorite things are like coming together, Disney and housewives. So Crystal is going to be a new housewife. She is the first Asian housewife that will be joining the franchise. Also, Bravo announced that Kathy Hilton is going to be part of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills in a friend capacity. So we are gonna be seeing Kathy and Kyle and hopefully Kim make some scenes together. It's gonna be exciting. Um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to Kathy Hilton. And if she plays her cards right, she could be a diamond holder for the following season because she could hold Paris Hilton and Nikki Hilton and be like, all right, if you want my daughters, you've got to make me a diamond holder. So she may play her cards to her advantage and become a diamond holding cast member. Who knows? Now let's move into some Real Housewives of New York City news. So Heather Thompson, it's been circulating. I've seen a lot of things circulating. She's back part of the cast. Is she gonna be holding an apple? Like what's her deal? She has been spotted filming um, lunches with the ladies. She went on a group trip with the ladies. So according to Reality T, Heather Thompson confirms return to the Real Housewives of New York, but does not want to be full time. So I can only assume that Heather Thompson will be at least making a cameo, maybe like a guest appearance, or she's gonna be a friend, sort of like um, Elise was last season. So 
Either way, I'm really excited to see, hey mama, holla, Heather Thompson back on my screen. Also coming out of Real Housewives of New York City, they confirmed Ebony Williams is joining the cast. She's gonna be the first Black Housewives wife to the franchise. I'm really excited for Ebony to join the cast and film with all the ladies. She is friends with um, Leah, so they're gonna be doing a lot of scenes together. So according, I did a quick Google search on Ebony. So she is an American attorney and television host. She co-hosts the late night talk show, State of the Culture on Revolt TV. She co-hosted a talk show on WABC Radio in New York City. And she's a co-host of Fox News' channel 2017 show, Fox News Specialists. So she's a badass boss. And I kind of want to put her in the box um, with Wendy on Potomac, like she's educated, she's political, she's an attorney, like bring it bitch, I am ready. And um, Reality T also mentioned that race is absolutely gonna be discussed. She said, I think in responsible but very authentic ways on this season, it's already happening, I can tell you that much. So Ebony and Leah, they're gonna like shake shit up this season and hopefully i've heard that it's going to push ramona and hopefully push ramona out which fingers crossed like i don't know how ramona has gotten this far especially with her behavior last season and you know i am very excited for the way this cast is rounding out real housewives in new york city Y'all, I love it so freaking much. So now let's jump over to New Jersey. Teresa, she has a new boyfriend. Y'all. So apparently Teresa's really happy with this guy, but I've been seeing a lot of things on Instagram that he's not so nice. Um, apparently he's still together with his wife and his wife has come out saying that he's like a crazy narcissist and is trying to take the kids away and is like verbally abusive and it's like, Teresa, what are you doing? Like, she really knows how to pick them. So apparently his name is Lewis and he is a businessman and don't make the same mistake twice, Teresa. <laughs> Just learn from your mistakes, girlfriend. Like, seriously, I don't know if this is gonna last. I don't know if, that's all I have to say about that. Let's move over to the Real Housewives of Orange County. Not much happening there. This season is like super fucking boring, um, but I still am watching. However, breaking news, rumor. Rumor allegedly, let's start there. Allegedly, I saw Kelly and Emily are gone for next season. Bye. And Tamra is in. Plus, they are going to be adding a few very rich OC housewives. Oh, I can't wait. I really hope this is true because Emily, you're boring. Kelly, you're a nasty racist. And I am ready for change. It's like they need to do something with OC because it's so freaking sick. Dale, y'all, they need to shake it up. Ugh. So I hope there's some big, 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 big exciting changes coming to OC because y'all, they need it. And I'm gonna say this about OC. So they aired OC and Salt Lake City on the same damn night. Like, bravo. They really did OC dirty because I'm not watching OC. I'm watching Salt Lake City. Henny, you better believe it. Salt Lake City's where it's at. So everyone else needs to just be taking notes. So hopefully those rumors, as they start to come in, become true as this season wraps. I'm ready for this season to be over. Like, here comes the freaking Shannon Bedore quarantine COVID. Like, I just cannot with her. Seriously. Seriously. Um, also, Real Housewives of Atlanta, I made a reaction video, tag is right here, or here, it's somewhere up there. Go ahead and click it. You can watch me reacting to the new taglines. 
So shockingly, the new season is going to be airing December 6th. There's a new housewife, Drew Sedora, no Nini. There's a new friend, her name's Latoya. She's a YouTuber, there's still hope for me. I can get on Real Housewives. Bravo Andy, hello Andy Cohen. I'm right here. Let me do something fun for Bravo. Like, is a producer watching because... <laughs> Holla at ya, boy. So, it's funny because I feel like Atlanta just wrapped filming. Like, they just wrapped last season. And now, all of a sudden, we have a new season. But I guess it makes sense because the reunion wrapped in March. So, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, nine months. Y'all, those stay-at-home orders, my body is still stuck in March. However, I feel like Housewives now, correct me if I'm wrong, or if anyone else feels the same way, they're just filming constantly. I feel like they don't give them a long enough break to build up drama. It's like they wrap filming, they sign their contracts, and they start a new season. It's like Kardashian filming, when they're just filming 24-7, 365, around the clock. Like... Don't get me wrong, I love me some housewives, but I feel like we need to pump the break because if we pump out season after season too quickly, it becomes stale and boring and there's not enough time to create drama amongst the cast. That's just how I feel. So there is a ton of things happening in the Bravo verse. I wanted to break it all down for you guys because I have been off the scene for over a week because I needed just to decompress and just handle my emotions with all of the election stress. So I am back bringing you all of the breaking Bravo news. Make sure you get yourself subscribed to my channel so you never miss out on anything. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.